Good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 9, verses 10 and 11 for this morning. And the apostles, when they had returned, told him all that they had done. Then he took them and went aside privately into a deserted place belonging to the city called Bethsaida. But when the multitudes knew it, they followed him, and he received them and spoke to them about the kingdom of God and healed those who had need of healing. Now, you might remember that Jesus has sent out the disciples on kind of a training mission, and they've come back. You find it back in 9 verse 2. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Now, they come back, they give him a report, and here they go aside. He takes them aside so they can kind of regroup. Working with with uh, human to human, that can be uh, exhausting, emotionally exhausting, and and so Jesus takes them aside. It is appropriate from time to time to take a break, to set up and go on to the side and regroup and, and renew yourself. So what would be better than a retreat with Jesus, you know, a spiritual retreat? But they find out where he is, the people, and they come along anyway. And so he's giving this, this instruction. They were doing the things he said to do, preaching and, and healing. And now uh, when the people find them, he again goes on, and it said there again at verse 11 that Jesus taught and helped those, and he received them. Jesus didn't say, hey, sorry, everybody, we're closed. We're on a retreat. Jesus went ahead, and he began to teach again and heal again and all of that. So Jesus was very gracious. It said he received them. Even when he was seeking solitude, uh, it still became kind of another phase of training for his students there, his, his apostles, his disciples. He taught them not to turn people away when they were in great need. And so here they are. Good things, good training by Jesus. And even when you're trying to, to come apart and, and to take a little break, sometimes you just need to carry on and minister to people. And Jesus taught his disciples this. What about you and I? Sometimes we're kind of busy. Sometimes there's just lots of stuff going on and we need to take a break. We should feel, we should, we should be comfortable taking a break. But if opportunities for ministry arise, even at that time, although we didn't seek it, if God brings somebody, that means there's something to do. And we should follow the example of Jesus and see what we can do to help those in need that have been brought to us. Well, friend, may the Lord bless us as we do these things. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we ourselves want to be right. We want to continue the training mission. We want to keep learning. And as Jesus continued to minister, we we need to take time and set aside. But also, Lord, you will sometimes have something that, that you have a mission for us to do right now. I know you'll refresh us later if we do take that seriously now. So help us to be a blessing not just healing, but teaching, not just teaching, but healing, and show us how we can be your agency for that, Lord, in this dark world, a light, a light for others. We thank you for this opportunity to serve. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, friend, Jesus is giving you opportunity to serve. Serve him and be a light. Be a light in a place that needs it. God's blessing be upon you today.